This is take three of this Foodie Friday video, and I really hope it works this time. <laughs> so hi guys, thanks so much for joining me. I am Jen Pierce, the Coco Queen, and this is my weekly episode of Foodie Friday. I was having technical difficulties, and then I spilled my entire smoothie all over the place, so... <sighs> I'm gonna need a chocolate martini after all this. So, um, but hi, if you're new, let me introduce myself. I am Jen Pierce. They call me the Cocoa Queen because I'm absolutely obsessed with everything chocolate or cocoa. And thank goodness for me, I found this company called the Cocoa Exchange where all of their products contain chocolate or cocoa. And um, I am not a big cook, but I am a foodie. I love to eat. And I love how their products make it so simple for me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've had a big mess. So uh, today I want to talk to you about our Vitalize Protein Blend with Cocoa Flavanols. And I'm going to show you how I make one of my smoothies. And I'm going to try not to spill it all over the place today. But good news, the bags they come in, they are waterproof bags. These are nice plastic bags. So if you spill your smoothie all over them, you can just wipe it right off. Even rinse it under the sink. I mean, seal it up, but then it's good to go. So in case you didn't know that, I have tried it for you and I can verify now that these bags are waterproof and easy cleanup if you spill on them. So that's what I'm here for, right? <laughs> all right, so let me get started. Um, so if you're not familiar with our Vitalize line, it is our line that is protein packed and um, full of cocoa flavanols. So this is definitely our healthy line, okay? Stay with me though, because this is the cocoa exchange and we make it tasty too. In fact, uh, the chefs came out with our newest thing, which is our protein bars, and I gave them a little bit of heck for it because it's got more sugar in it, and I said, guys, this isn't as healthy because it has a little more sugar, and they said, yeah, but we gotta make it taste good. That's our first priority is we gotta make it taste good. So, had to, had to you know, back off on that one a little bit. Anyway, whether you like the smoothie or the bar, both of them are packed with protein. Okay, so the Smoothie Mix has 20 grams of protein per serving. The bar has 13. Either way, it's fantastic. These are plant-based proteins, which is recommended by the National Heart Association, better than whey protein. So these are plant-based proteins. We use pea, sunflower seed, and pumpkin for the proteins in these. Um, so really healthy for you. They really have everything good and nothing bad these have a little more sugar, <laughs> which I gave the chefs a hard time about, but they are tasty. Um, so everything good for you and nothing bad. So the smoothie mix in particular um, is low sugar, low fat, um, it's vegan friendly, it has no dairy, it has no nuts, none of the bad stuff, but it does have the great protein in it. It has... Um, some uh, pure monk fruit for the sweetener, as well as a little bit of organic coconut sugar, just a couple grams. So it's still fine for if you're on the keto diet, paleo diet, low carb diet, all of that, um, really great for you. Um, this one's got a little more sugar in it. It has all the other good stuff, but just a little more sugar uh, to make it a little tastier, the bars do. So they both also have possibly the most Oh my gosh, I'm such a klutz today. <laughs> ah, they both also have cocoa flavanols, which <laughs> luckily no liquids fell that time, almost. Um, cocoa flavanols, which if you don't know about cocoa flavanols, they are the healthy part of chocolate. Okay, you've probably heard how dark chocolate is healthy for you, right? Anybody heard that? Um, and they've said, you've heard people say the darker the better. So the reason for that is because of the cocoa flavanols. So cocoa flavanols are a nutrient that's naturally found inside of cocoa beans. 
So when they say dark chocolate is good for you and the darker the better because the darker the chocolate, the more cocoa is in it. Therefore, the more cocoa flavanols are in it. Okay? So, but what we've done, what they do, let me back up. <laughs> what they don't always tell you when you see all those research come out that's like, oh, you can have chocolate anytime because it's good for you, is that to get the beneficial effects of the dark chocolate, you usually need to eat at least about a candy bar's worth, if not two or three, to get enough cocoa flavanols to actually be beneficial for you. So what we did is we extracted the cocoa flavanols and put them in a healthy protein shake or bar so that you can get the health effects without all of the added sugar and fat that are normally in chocolate. So why do you want cocoa flavanols anyway, right? <laughs> Anybody got that question? Um, so Flavanols naturally occur in lots of things. You may have heard about being blueberries or acacia fruit or however you say that, nuts and those kind of things. So there are natural other fruit flavanols and nut flavanols. So cocoa flavanols are called that because they obviously come from the cocoa bean. Um, and what they do for you is, is, there's been tons of research about this, and we found that what the cocoa flavanols are really good at is they help your blood circulation. And there's a lot of science to that about nitric oxides and stuff, which I won't get into. But they help your blood flow better throughout your entire body. So what that means is that if you have any problems with blood circulation, this is gonna be particularly good for you. Even if you don't, when your blood flows better throughout your body, it means that all of your are functioning better they get their nutrients from our blood. So it's good for heart health in particular and brain health in particular. It's also getting that good blood and oxygen to your muscles and a lot of people have said that it's really helping their recovery after workouts. Um, but big things that we promote on that the research shows are it's good for heart health and brain health. And one study that I like in particular, because I'm a little bit of an insomniac, uh, it researched women who are insomniacs, hello, and it found that after a bad night's sleep, if they took their cocoa flavanols the next morning, their cognitive functioning went back to normal. So normally after a bad night's sleep, right, you're kind of groggy, you're not really thinking straight, right? That's when you kind of like, you know, pour the salt in your coffee instead of the sugar. But after the cocoa flavanols, brain power went back to normal. Hello. <laughs> and I know this has definitely been a good pick me up for me. I don't know if it's the cocoa flavanols or the protein or what, but I love to have it for breakfast. I have been snacking on the dark chocolate cherry bars for breakfast because it, this little tiny bar um, keeps me full well into the afternoon. So I am loving that. Um, oh, but I also, it's great for an afternoon snack too, and the protein, like this protein mixer is only 130 calories. So you can definitely have this for an afternoon snack and not feel guilty about it. But my little secret is have it for dessert. It's my favorite for a late night snack. Because I don't know about you, but around 10 o'clock, I get like, hmm, I need a little something. Like, hmm, what's something sweet I can have? I need some chocolate. And then I make myself up a chocolate smoothie, and it satisfies my chocolate craving, my sweet craving, um, and I don't have to feel bad about the calories or the fat or anything else. So let me mix one up. If I have enough almond milk left, because I already build my first one. I know, right? I'll make up a chocolate one. So, and these come uh, in this nice resealable bag with 30 full servings in here. It comes with a scooper with a nice long handle so you don't lose your scoop in the bag, right? Does that ever happen to anybody else? Um, so I'm just putting in here some almond milk. You could use regular milk, you could use oat milk, you could use water. Uh, and then you can add whatever else you want. If you wanna add some yogurt, that's fine. I'm adding in some frozen strawberries. 
if you want to add in some ice instead, that's fine. This is really easy to work with, whatever you like. Also, if you take any other like powdered supplements, what did I do now? What happened? Is the wrong way? Okay. <sighs> I'm seriously going to need a chocolate martini after today. <laughs> if you add ha the, 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 the. If you take any other powdered supplements and want to add them in, you certainly can because I have been doing that as well. Uh, I've been trying to take some collagen because I'm getting old and my joints are wearing out. frozen fruit for the cheers it's good it's chocolatey okay so if you are used to having a whey protein mix I want to give you a little warning because this is plant-based proteins you're gonna get a little more texture than the whey protein Okay, so it's just if you're used to the way, this is gonna be a little different. Uh, so it may take you a couple days to get used to. In that process of getting used to it, I encourage you use a little more milk, put a little more ice in it, uh, and that will help you get used to it. But after a couple days of drinking this, you'll completely be used to it. That happened to me at first, and now I don't even notice any texture issues at all. Um, but definitely adding some frozen fruit or some ice to it helps with that if you're concerned about that so now for the big deal right which is our vitalize is right now on sale buy one get one free ah, ah, ah. so I do believe this is the first time the bars have ever gone on sale um, and they are buy one get one free they come in two different flavors the dark chocolate cherry which is my favorite or the blueberry almond, you get, how many bars do you get? 20, 24, 12? No, you must get, you get 12. Okay, you get 12. It seems like a lot. You get 12 bars, um, so buy one, get one free, so you're gonna get 24, maybe that's what I was thinking. Um, and you do have to buy the same, you get one free of the same flavor, so you can't mix and match, but if you have a friend, that wants to try it out, this would be perfect, right? You get one flavor and get an extra one free. Your friend buys the other flavor and gets an extra one free. And then you can trade these so that you can try both flavors out. I would definitely recommend that. Um, so same thing for the bars and for the smoothie mix. Um, the smoothie mix has 30 full servings. Um, in each bag and like I said it's gonna be buy one get one free um, and they very rarely put this on sale I think this is the first time ever the bars have been on sale the smoothie mix has only been on sale once or twice before um, so I would definitely snatch them up we do have a auto ship program where you can save 20% so let me know if you're interested in that and I will give you more information there um, but uh, they're a great pick-me-up, a great way to feel good and healthy about yourself, and they really are at a good price point. Um, I'm going to forget the math right now, but I think this is normally like $1.60 per serving, and that's before the buy one, get one free. So for all the good stuff it has in it and none of the bad, it's a really great deal. Um, my husband, has he's a gym rat he's been drinking the smoothie drinks forever and a dollar 66 a serving for the good stuff not the ones filled with crap <laughs> is a really great price right now you're getting buy one get one free i know i am stocking up i already have a good bit of my smoothie mixes but i'm definitely going to be getting some more dark chocolate cherry vitalized bars in case i didn't say i am drinking rich chocolate right now it also comes in super berry 
uh, and they're both really delicious. So let me know if you have any questions about our Vitalize line, about cocoa flavanols, about the cocoa exchange, about my crazy day, <laughs> or anything else. Cheers to you. Have a fabulous weekend and be sure to tune back in next Friday for another edition of Foodie Friday with the Cocoa Queen. Bye.